Are you thinking about moving to Santa Cruz, California? Well, you really need to check out all six areas of Santa Cruz before you make a decision. So we have Valencia, we have Saugus, we have Canyon Country, we have Newhall, and then we have Stevenson's Ranch and Castaic, which are not really parts of the city limits, but they're so close that we always kind of bunch those in there. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about Canyon Country. So we're gonna break this down into six sections of Canyon Country. One is White's Canyon. The second one is gonna be what I'm gonna call the Soledad Corridor because it doesn't really have a name. And that's gonna be from like Shangri-La, which is right near Sierra Highway, all the way up to the end of Canyon Country. And then we have Sand Canyon, we have Rainbow Glen, we have Fair Oaks Ranch, and then we have the new area of Alianto. Let's start with White's Canyon, because White's Canyon is kind of the oldest area of Canyon Country. So after the war in the 60s, they actually, uh, the government built these homes and were allowing the vets to come back and buy them with $100 down and have um, very low monthly payments. I actually spoke with one of the original owners of one of those and he was telling me all about it. So there's that area there, that's the whole lower section of White's Canyon. And then as you go up the hill, you get a little bit newer and a little bit larger homes as well. The White's Canyon area also hosts our Canyon High School as well as Sierra Vista Junior High and there are quite a few apartment complexes in that area as well. Okay so let's move on and go to the Soledad Canyon Corridor. The reason I'm calling it that is just that it doesn't have a name and it just runs the entire length of Soledad Canyon. In that area there's a lot of different homes and different price points different sizes of homes so you're gonna find something in just about every price range from condos and townhomes up to luxury homes so you're gonna find everything possible in that area. You do have great freeway access. So again, if you are making a commute, you are right off of that 14 freeway. So now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the uh, Rainbow Glen. So Rainbow Glen area is located right over there off of Soledad and Rainbow Glen. So those homes have um, condos in that area. And then you also have a lot of detached condos in that area. So you're gonna find you have a lot of associations. There are no Mellow Roos in that neighborhood, but there are association fees. So you're gonna definitely wanna make sure you take a look at those. Not only do they have pools, but most of those areas also have tennis courts as well. The majority of that area is either detached condos, which are to live like a single family home, or um, condos. And then there is a pocket that does have larger single family homes as well. And that Rainbow Glen area also houses La Mesa Junior High. Okay, so I know I said White's Canyon is the oldest area of Canyon Country, but Sand Canyon has some older homes as well, some really old ranches in that area, but it's also a lot of newer places too. So it's a very luxury type area. Most of those homes have quite a bit of land around them. We also have Robinson's Ranch in that area, which is a golf course that's gated and has beautiful estates all around the golf course too. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more space around you and you're looking for something, you know, on the higher end, it's definitely a place you want to take a look at. It just is so beautiful, lots of oak trees, trees. You just feel like you're away from everything and so far away, but you're still so close. Again, you do have close freeway access, kind of depending upon how far back up in the canyon you go. But either way, even if you're the farthest point in the canyon, you're probably 10 to 12 minutes from the freeway. Okay, so next we'll talk about Fair Oaks Ranch. So Fair Oaks Ranch is a newer community built in the 2000s and newer. It does have a gated condo townhome complex. It does have an apartment complex. It also has detached townhomes as well as single family homes. So you can get something from a small thousand square foot condo all the way up to a 4,000 plus square foot house. And the prices vary depending upon what you're looking for. So you do also have associations there. So there is an association, not every home belongs to the association. So if it's if having the community pool and, and spa area is important to you, you definitely want to confirm if that home you're looking at belongs to that association. Almost all of Fair Oaks Ranch does have a Mellow Roos tax and they vary. So you want to make sure if you're looking at buying a home in Fair Oaks Ranch, you also consider the uh, Mellow Roos tax in that area. Okay, so the last one we're gonna talk about today is Alianto. So Alianto is a really new. It does have a 55 and older area as well. Now, Alianto and Fair Oaks Ranch, as of right now, are the only two communities that are located on the southwest side of the 14 freeway. Now, there's another community being built, but it's not built yet, so there will be an amendment to this eventually. But there is another, another community being built also on that southwest side. But for right now, we have Alianto and we have Fair Oaks Ranch that are on that, that southwest side of the freeway. So Alianto does have Mellow Roos, so a lot of the homes in that area have I think all the homes in that area do have Mellow Roos. Some are gated and some are not. So it just depends upon where you're looking in Alianto, depending upon if it's gonna be a gated community or not, if it's gonna be a 55 and older area community or not. Um, there's quite a variety there. There are no condos and townhomes in that area though. 
So the elementary school school district that has, houses most of those elementary schools is Sulphur Springs Elementary School. In addition, there are a couple of schools in Canyon Country that are, are part of the Saugus Union School District. So those would be the two school districts you want to look at for elementary schools. And I will have a link down below that's going to have all the links to all the schools as well as some of the recreation things to do in the area. Okay, so the next one is high schools. So high schools are Canyon High School and Golden Valley High School. So those would be the two high schools that service the entire Canyon Country area. Again, they're both part of William S. Hart School District, and that link is going to be below. And then we also have two junior highs, and they're also part of William S. Hart School District because the junior highs and high schools are all part of the same school district here in Santa Clarita. So the two junior highs that service, I should say, all of Canyon Country are going to be Sierra Vista Junior High and La Mesa Junior High. Okay, so let's move on to some of the fun things to do in Canyon Country. So we have the new Canyon Country Community Center. It just opened in October of 2021. It has a nice big park area with, with playgrounds. They have concerts in that little park area. They have big, huge kitchens where they do cooking classes, <laughs> as well as they have, um, you can reserve those for different parties or different demonstrations you're doing. They also have the big ballroom you can reserve for, for parties, meetings, whatever the case might be. Um, there's big basketball courts, there's a dance studio there. There's all kinds of things. They have after school programs for the kids. They also have summer school programs. They have adult dancing classes, kids dancing classes, everything possible you can think of. Wednesday nights between May and October, they have a bike night at Route 66. And then the second Saturday of every month between May and October, they also at Route 66 have a classic car night. So it really brings in a crowd. There's usually a band, there's stuff to do, there's people to talk to. So MB2 Sports just opened in um, Santa Cruz as well. So it has go-kart rides, it has ax throwing, it has bumper boats, it has miniature golf, it has a small bowling alley in there. They have everything you could think of. So if you're looking for just a fun day, or a fun night of going and doing something, it looks like a really great time. So that's something I would definitely recommend checking out as well. Okay, what does the city have to offer? So the city of Santa Clarita has a couple things as well. So one, they have the Trek Bike Park, which is where uh, kids, adults, people can go and ride off-road bicycling. So basically you're in there and you're doing the, the jumps and all of that sort of thing right there. Um, there's like a track and there's all, you know, it's in dirt. So there's a dirt bike trek that looks like a lot of fun. I personally haven't done it, but it looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of my clients' kids love to go there. They even have it set up certain times of the day for younger kids to be able to go as well. In addition, there's a skate park. They're actually located right near each other. Again, something I personally haven't done, but I've gone and watched, and some of these kids are just incredible. So I do recommend, uh, if you have kids especially, checking that out. In addition, the city of Santa Clarita also has an aquatic center. So that is playground, playground type area, but it's all done in the water with slides and fountains going and all kinds of things for the kids to do, as well as an actual pool if you want to swim laps or do anything of that nature. So I do recommend the aquatic center is um, a great place on a hot summer day. Now, down below here, I do have links to all of these activities. So if you want to check them out and kind of see what I'm talking about, definitely click on those links and check them out. They'll give you times of day that they're open. It's going to show you pictures of what to expect and what you're looking at. It gives you age ranges during certain times of the day. All that stuff is right down below here in the links in the notes. Okay, so a couple of things that people really like Canyon Country for. One is the bike paths, because they do have the bike paths that go through all the way from Valencia all the way out through Canyon Country, and you go through some really beautiful scenery as well. Another thing is that you have great freeway access. So if you are commuting, whether it's to go um, north up towards Palmdale, Lancaster, and the Antelope Valley, you know, like Lockheed and Northrop and some other big companies are up there, but they want their kids to go to schools here in Santa Clarita, or maybe their spouse commutes the other direction. This is a great central location and being right there off the 14 freeway is awesome. So it's a great commute whether you're going north or south um, to be able to get to your destinations. The city of Santa Cruz only has one Costco and it is also located in Canyon Country. So a lot of people, I know it sounds silly, but a lot of the people when you talk about Canyon Country, say, oh, that's where Costco's at. So that's where the Costco is too. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. So if you have any questions about Santa Clarita or you're thinking about making a move, please reach out and give us a call. And again, do not forget to subscribe to this channel because we're going to be posting new information on this channel a couple times a month and it's going to cover everything about Santa Clarita. So definitely subscribe, like, give us some love and um, 
again, keep coming back and seeing more of these, this information. If there's anything you want to know more about, please feel free, reach out, put it in the notes. I'll do my best to get the information put together and, and answer here in the video or give you a call back with that information. Have a great day. Again, I'm Tammy Cicerello with the Cicerello team at Remax of Santa Cruz.